Lucy. Hello, you absolute goddess in blue. Oh, darling, you couldn't guess quicker. Our closet confessions this week, which is celebrating all things blue and it is my favorite color so i'm so excited to do this one and this is my favorite outfit that you own oh this is before we go on to my favorite outfit can we see your challenge from last week because i want to know what you've done about a bit of red but i'm staying with my parents so i actually raided my mum's wardrobe so i've got a cos jumper on that i found which is like a really nice tomato red and then i'm wearing pink blush pink trousers oh cute I would never have put this colour top with these trousers yeah. ever before. So I was happy to like experiment and go and find something together. It worked. Um, it worked well. More excitingly, yeah. I put yeah. Swainy and Mama on my lips. Oh my god! Let me go close in. Oh Lucy, that's so pretty. Such a nice combination. Yeah. So your, I'm really happy with that. Your eyes look unbelievably blue. Oh, it's yeah. um hope truth and a tiny bit of fortune and then mama on my cheeks great darling fantastic okay so what i thought we might do is just talk about which blue are you and unlike quite a few other shades which um it's very difficult to find your shade like yellow you know there's only a very small window for some people in yellow i think blue has bigger opportunities for everyone let me introduce you to a tool i have da, da, da. the color wheel <laughs> But it was just to show, you know, blue to me. I'm being very broad in my blue because I'm going from a turquoisey blue to sort of purpley blues. That's how broad my reach is. And when we look at colours that we can wear with it, we're going to have a look at the kind of bits opposite in the wider triangle. This is actually Alice Templey and it's a top and a skirt. And I got it in the sale, not that much off. But cost per wear, it's been remarkable because I wear the skirt on its own. I wear the top on its own. It's a skirt and top. Um, I wear it with a trainer like this. Wearing something like this with a pair of trainers. I know it seems weird and lots of ladies say, oh, trainer again. But it allows me to wear those quite smart things in my wardrobe and make them cooler. Especially when you're tall, you don't really want to put on a, a heel all the time if you're going to an event. Yeah. Everyone needs that outfit in their wardrobe, Lucy, which is their safety net. Mm -hmm. This is my safety net. If I look at these colours, I've sort of done them, Lucy, from dark to light. But within each section, there's a slightly warmer blue and a cooler blue. But let's say you are cool toned, you suit cool toned things. That is a cool navy to me. It's quite cool. This is a cool navy. This is a velvet if i went to colbert like bright like this that's very cool and you could yeah. wear those together actually if you wanted to do them together you could also do the ice cool these are all cool blues all right uh, so they will all go together as well if you want to do tonality but yeah. if i were to just switch it up and show you how things can clash you know there's a difference in tone between that dirty turquoisey color and the clear pastel blue. I prefer the coolness of that blue to the dirty turquoise-ness of this blue with that. Is there actually such a thing as a warm blue? Yes, that's the thing. Very interesting point. I've shown you cool. Mid, that's mid. Okay. I'm kind of wearing mid. Turquoisey colours are mid. Okay, that's a mid turquoisey blue. Those are mid. But this yeah. is a really good mid. This is Zara now. So it's a very good mid-tone. That would suit a lot of people, that blue. And the mids are going to suit more people, okay? Then if we talk blue in denim, because, you know, denim has so many different shades and some people gravitate towards the texture in denim and some people gravitate towards the colour of denim. That's, to me, a neutral, dark denim. All right, it's not cold, cold. It's going towards my... It would look nice with that velvet jacket. You know, but it but it's just a neutral. This is just a paler version. Denim sits generally in a neutral to a cool arena. You never get a warm denim, Lucy. Now you talked about what's a warmer blue, and a warmer blue. This is getting a tiny bit towards warm, heading a little bit, tiny hint towards teal. Yes. This is another variation of that shade. When we get beyond this blue, we sort of head towards teal. 
Yeah, so if I was saying what's the warmest blue, yeah, it would be that. The hardest thing with blue, I think, is wearing shades together because there's, as you can see, so many variants. There's clusters that I think you can always buy together in the high street. All of this is those ice bluey colours. That's really yeah. icy blue and that's sort of dirty O'Donnell. These cool blues go with the very cool grey blues. Those are really pretty together. Yeah. Okay, and then you can go further than that and you can go to a real grey, you know. But that flows. Tinny, with your gorgeous Tempani outfit there, have you done any specific makeup for that blue colour? I'll do a little bit of Sasha, Lip mm -hmm. Love. And then I'll take a little bit of Eye to Eye in Fortune because there's a certain slight warmth to this and I'll just put that on my eye. So if I go from this, which is that warm, you know, sequiny blue, I'm now going to go to navy. Okay, Lucy, this is about wearing the right navy. And it seems such a silly little thing. There's always like, I have three navy jumpers, but there's always one of them I put on and it never quite works. Right. Okay, so this one is that one. And it's just too royal blue. It's too rich royal blue for this. And then if I swap it to this, it's just exactly the right tone. Yes. And so it makes it a more complete outfit than if I wear it with a slightly off blue. Other blues had a bit of sort of purple in it. Almost. Exactly, exactly right. So when I wear navy, um, I always used to be scared of wearing dark lip, but I love wearing a dark lip with navy. And even in the summer I've been doing this, but I do Lip Love in Dahlia. Oh, wow. And then I do the last bit on my cheek. I like what it does. I always talk about embracing colour, but I think if there are some women who really struggle about getting out of black, just try getting into navy. You know, yeah. just see the slight softness that navy will bring. And to me, chicness. I can go silver or gold with navy. Air Force blue is a cooler blue then I might do silver. But if I'm doing just a navy navy, this is what I call neutral navy. That's Air Force blue kind of navy, gray-ish navy, okay? If I do neutral navy, I could do silver or gold. Okay, if you put a coat on top of that, where would you go with the color? This is a Zara, let me just uh -huh. see. Yeah, that works together because they're in the same family of navy. Okay, so can you see that there's just a synergy and it goes? Yeah, so that goes it. fine and works well and it's similar tones. And if I put the wrong one on, this is when you just think, oh, I can't do navy. That just doesn't look so good together. Yeah, it's completely wrong. Yeah. So it can be tricky, but when you get it right, it can be fab. Yes. And where's your jumper from, Trini? I think it's Cos. I always get my cashmere jumpers in either, this one's Cos, Massimo okay. Dutti, Cos, or like this one, is my dad's and it's probably oh. 30 years old and it's from Simpsons in the Strand. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Wonderful. Now let's talk about blue and stripes. This is about a little navy stripe. Now, I've never seen anybody put horizontal stripes and vertical stripes together and it works. If I had the stripe all the way up and down, I would be a piece of candy. These are really old trousers from, can you just see? Zara. Zara, okay. And the top is Cos. So I just love the idea of this stripe. I mean, I've even got the stripey bag from that lovely yeah. brand I got, um, Arx, A-A-K-S, female founder. Uh, but I love it because I'm broadening myself here and I'm elongating my legs and I'm making my waist smaller because I got the stripe going round this way. Can you explain the broadening? I like stripes this way for a top half because I okay. think what it does is it gives you a breadth here. I think it gives an optical illusion of being smaller here because I think you just feel it's a circle going round. But I wouldn't want that on my hips. So I always no. like a stripe going straight down. But if you were top heavy and really small on the bottom, you could, but I just think I've very rarely seen a stripe going this way that I've liked, yeah. unless it's an incredibly deep stripe. So then it's so deep that it's not widening you. And then with this thing, I would go with, I might go with this, which works well. And it just uh -huh. brings then, what it does is if you're scared of being one big, you know, candy floss, it just gives some breakup yeah. to it. But do consider stripe with stripe. 
worth an investment as a basic piece. Yes, and the red lip? I did demon because I do Sweeney oh. so much. A little nice. cooler in the red. Yeah, that's the coolest red. It's the coolest red. You know, I always feel frisky in a polka dot. I feel um, chic in a stripe and frisky in a polka dot because it's slightly sexy. Do you know what I mean? Black and white polka dot? Yeah. But yeah. a navy and white polka dot is something else. This is one of my classic dresses, Lucy. It's, you know, from the tribe of the Essential Antwerp ones. It's the one I have in pink and in blue. Gorgeous. So that's kind of daytime. And I've done, I'm not going to change the makeup, but I just want to show you. Can you see the lip? I can. It's lip to cheek in Pia with Pookie. Oh, nice. Isn't it nice? Anyway, I'm going to go out. So I put on okay. a higher heel. Yeah. And then I'm going to get that old DVS belt. And it's a very wide belt, but it's a very long dress. So for me, long body, a lot of fabric, I can do a really wide belt. So that for me is just another very nice summery outfit. Definitely. So if you had bigger boobs, is that a neckline to avoid? Well, what's interesting with this is that I can do that like that, oh. you know? Yeah. You could, couldn't you? Like yeah. imagine I have big boobs there. Okay. That's lovely, yeah. actually, with a little jacket. But you get the idea. Chloe. Very nice. Oh, you know, just a little, get the proportion of the jacket right, make it quite short, but all the attention on the clavage. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> this is a tale about buying a dress because the colour is your best blue. So I bought this in Zara and I love it. It's a perfect blue. The sun is coming out because the blue is so good. And yet... The shape is shit because it looks like I'm wearing a nightie of sorts. Am I prepared to make it a top for £49? <gasps> yes, I am because I'll never wear it like this, but I love it as a top. So before you go mad, and I will go mad, I need to see where it needs to end. Put on my jeans. These are where, what I'll wear them with, but I might wear them with something low waisted, which will be to there. So I'm going to cut sort of like to there and I should be safe and I know I could cut much better later but I'm just going to do my little hope for the best you see cut straight and you know what I'm going to do with the bottom half so I don't waste it I'm going to make it into masks and I'm going to have matching masks room for lots of masks in that so now, did I cut it too short? No, I didn't. Is it now a spectacular top? I would say, yes, it is. Do I want to tuck it in fully? I sure do, because that hem is not looking great. And everyone is going to now say to me, Trini, where did you get that top? Because I only saw it in a dress in Zara. I can't believe you cut that whilst wearing it. <laughs> I know. I just am worried there's a rip in the back, but I think it's okay. Will you now hem that? Uh, not really. Can't be bothered. Because I'll always wear it tucked in. Think of all the things in your wardrobe, ladies, that you're not wearing. You get out the scissors. Jen, darling. Hi. Jen. Say hello again. They were so hello, happy to meet you, Jenny, Molly. before. <laughs> you try I will try. Oh, thank you, Jen. You're welcome. So this is sort of tonality. It's like a slightly dirty, powdery, bluey, turquoisey. I mean, it's like... Is it like duck egg? It is nearly duck egg, yes. I think duck egg and it have a relationship, okay? But yeah. with this... It's not totally cool. There's a certain dirtiness. If I put on, let's say I'm doing tonal with tonal, one is neither too cool or too warm. The reason I know it's a bit warmer is that I can wear warmer shades with it. So I'm now doing VB, but I can do that tone because all of them sit in a family that sits comfortably together. But I could also do contrast. Okay. So this is where we might take our little color wheel. Oh, good. Let's look at what colour this is. I would say it sits around here. There, okay. do you see it's that warmer? It's got a bit more green in it, right? Yeah. If I do that and I take that and then I go in a sort of triangle, its best contrasting colour would be that soft orange. And then I could go out to a pinkier or a sort of yellowy orange. I found a colour. Oh, yes. You see? Very interesting. And also that that's sort of just a bit paler, paler than Phoebe. How weird is that? There we go. Colour's fab. It's kind of great, you know. It's like you don't expect it, 
um, you don't think about putting together, but it's just challenge yourself. And then I'd go even warmer. I'd even do like Maiko Shishema and go even orangier. This just shows you how a tweak can change everything, Lucy, because this blue is the icy blue shirt. The color I'm wearing with it is a very cool fuchsia magenta. And it's just that tweak. Depending on if in your warm family or a mid or a cool, those contrasts change and tweak as well. I just want to show you because I knew you'd love it. This is a blue Lucy that's really interesting. This is a blue that verges on sort of lavender grey. I used to remember loving this colour blue and it never worked because my hair got darker and darker and suddenly it didn't suit me as a colour. And since now my hair, you know, I did highlights and now I've washed my hair a few times and they've come through more. Suddenly this colour is suiting me again. But this is what I call slate grey blue. It sits to me in mid-toned people. It's a really nice neutral. So I would wear colors with it that go complementary like that. I'm gonna put this on now. This is so not my kind of look, Lucy, but this is something I'd wear with high-waisted jeans. But I just wanted to, for a flash, see would this work? But I think it's better for a 15-year-old. I don't know, would I do that? I mean, am I in a Jane Austen costume drama? I don't know if I'm thinking I'm Lila and I'm loving it, but there's something I quite like. I like it. It's soft. I love the shape of the jump of the sleeves. 29.99 Zara. So, you know, when you're doing slates, keep that tone going. And then yeah. if you do navy with it, you want it to be like what I call a French navy. This is Air Force Blue. The RAF uniforms, that's what this color is. That color and this color, they have a nice relationship. And yeah. this color also, because they're quite just kind of grayish blue. So it's like you need to find your blue, that's your best blue, in the navies, in the mids and in the pales, and make sure you buy in that family. It's yeah. something where you have to be specific. You literally have to take that piece of clothing with you. It's a bit of a chore, but then you have it and it works. I'm ending Lucy on my favorite blue. This is my favorite blue. I love this blue. I'd like to think on a good day it's colored my eyes, mm -hmm. but um, I wear it sometimes with this dress from Topshop, just for that contrast but I'll also yeah. wear it with blue jeans and a blue top. It brings me joy. And I'm just gonna put on a little, I got Emily on with a bit of sash. That's blue done and dusted. I just, you know, it's such a broad color, Lucy. Of all the colors we talked about, it just stretches to colors that you might think you don't describe as blue. And everyone will suit one shade or more. But, you know, branching out and matching them together and keeping in, if you want to wear blue with blue, keeping the same coolness, mid or warmth of tone. It's mainly, though, blue is mainly cool and neutral. There are not many warm blues because that heads towards teal. Okay, wonderful. That's an education in blue. Thank you very much. Thank you, darling. I'm going to go off now and strip because I'm sweltering in this um, winter coat. <laughs> <laughs> and next week, Lucy... I had thought, you know, there's been lots of requests from the last um, few weeks of a really casual wardrobe. We did do my casual essentials, but yeah. I just thought something as simple as jeans and a top. Love it. Um, yeah. What else do we have on our list, Luce, that we're discussing that people have written oh, and requests about? shoes. Um, we always come back to shoes. Nobody's picking up on that one, actually. My eight essential <laughs> pairs of shoes and how I wear them. Actually, no interest for shoes. Maybe two no people out of hundreds. Much. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and you put down requests of what you would like, because we pick up from that as well. Yeah. Thank you so much, Trini. Thank you, darling. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Bye.